As I was saying earlier, the Fokker D8, just with the single wind, wing there on top, is uh, fitted with an overrusal engine. There are only two operating overrusal engines in the world, and uh, they're both here today, Doc. So, so that's pretty cool. It is a real privilege to see uh, what's happened here in New Zealand with the vintage aviator, unique in the world. Fantastic stuff. Well done. Two Tiger Moss close to us and then the stomp to the north there. Well done. There goes the sun, Doc. It's breaking through the clouds. Fantastic. There you go. Woo! Firing up. Is it the yeah, counted, yeah, yeah. counted by those on the ground who are getting affected by it. Yeah. The VE2F doing a lovely pass there with the Union Jack. The VE2C early top. And the skids, you can see the skids in the, yeah, the, the flames. Flames. Our tail draggers are quite hard to land in certain conditions. And yeah. They were easy to, because the weight was in the front. Yeah. The first VE2s were delivered to the Royal Flying Corps in 1913. And by the outbreak of the war in July 1914, they were in service with the RFC squadrons. The design was inherently stable, and while this made them easy to fly, it also made them virtually helpless against the more manoeuvrable German fighters. Warming up on the flight line, we've got the Albatross the D5A and the Falz, uh, which is giving you an idea of the, the, as the development goes on. For what we're seeing above us now, there's another further development here by the, the Germans. I think we might be getting ready for a little bit of a, uh, a fight, Doc. What do you think? Oh, we could. information uh, about the Fouts uh, was the year 1917. There were over a thousand of these built as well, top speed of 185 kilometers an hour. And another 180 in the All right, so it looks like the, uh, the Fouts is on the trail of the RE8. What's going to happen here? The Feltz is coming in from behind. Can the RE8 shake him? We'll see what happens. Get caught up in the excitement. So the Feltz will see a little bit quicker than the RE8. There it is. The lowest time. the
The Germans currently occupy the skies. Here come the DRs. So originally these uh, DR1s, as Doc was just saying, were fitted with rotaries, but uh, these three that you see here are fitted with continental radials. Yeah. Wow! Look at the DA, the spinning front wheel still. This is amazing. Wonderful. Spitting out all over the plane and all over the mountain. Well, ladies and gentlemen, at least we're 30,000 feet. Just been informed that you're going to your last chance now to get it for the fast step. Remember that uh, okay, now is your time to get down to the merchandise team. Oh, I think the plane's going to be out there, right? That's right, plane's on the DC trail. Now, the arms are quite small in the end, but they're like jockeys. And they're very young. They're very young, they're over 60 pounds. I'll bring you back to that. We'll bring back there. We're going to take our mind. 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 And uh, at the height of uh, World War I, instead of uh, winning a ride in a Titan Moth for the Castle Royal Champion, it's actually going to be now in a B2 That's a World War I fight. An original one. Ladies and gentlemen, give the prize a big uh, wave and a big clap as they come by. Fantastic display. Yes, indeed. The sky, I suppose we could call it, the sky was their battle for this battlefield. Here comes the best of Sopwin, Doc. The best of the Sopwin. The sky was their battle for them. Then they demonstrated the advantage of courage, skill, chivalry, and sacrifice. Oh, there it is. That was good. See, you don't imagine, you know, you know, Trying to take control of this airplane, constantly being up there, keeping control of the airplane and dropping the bomb out the side at the same time. Yes, requires quite a lot of skill. Oh, that was very close. That is a real problem. Good job.
Then the dog fight. Fours and sixes will lose. Oh, the deal one's hot on the tail of the Easy Fight A's. Swoops down from high above. That's why I was such an effective killer in the First World War. We're coming from uh, above, unbeknown to the enemy below. Flying at uh, over 200 k's or close to 140 miles an hour. And the advances were getting huge, big steps. Oh, it looks like the uh, cars have been turned a little bit here. We've got an easy 5A hop on the tail of the one. Uh, a very good turning, turning circle. Good rock. Mm, in and out of dives. That's a nice one. called a scout. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting there, the old bear's fight. Leads a 